because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Huge fight week in the capital. Two world-class heavyweights going at it. I'm not talking about Adam Morley, I'm talking about Joe Joyce and Big Bang, Jila Zhang. Dangerous fight. Why, why take this when you're WBO interim champion? Now you've got two options for someone like Joe Joyce. You just sit there, wait, don't take fights or take very easy fights and wait till the mandatory gets called, which will probably be about December. Or you go out there hunting for the big fights. And Joe's always said that to me. I want the big fights. So we said, OK, Fury Usyk was being negotiated at the time. Wild was out of the picture. AJ's fighting Franklin. So we went through the top 15. This was the biggest fight we could make. We made it. He is going to be dangerous early on, Jane, because he's probably one of the biggest punchers in the division. So we know as well, Joe takes a bit of time to warm up into fights. So the first two or three rounds, you and Frank Warren, well, Frank's not going to be there because he's out of action for a bit. But you and George are going to be right on the edge of your seat. It's a bit nervous. Yeah, I was just talking to Nathan Heaney about this, actually. Nathan doesn't think Joe's a slow starter. I think Joe appears to be a slow starter because he just because once the motor gets going, he gets faster. Maybe it just takes a, a little bit of time to get the motor running. But yeah, Joe's going to... Look, the whole team's aware of this. Salas is aware of this. We know how live Zhang is for four rounds. We know that Joe traditionally has been a slow starter. So the game plan will be... You know, we want the game plan to be adjusted, but are we going to be able to stop those two just walking directly towards each other and start unloading bombs? Don't know. We shall see live on BT Sport this Saturday night. If everything goes well for Team Joyce, you come through this. As you said, you'll be waiting on Alexander Usyk, whoever has the belts at the time of the mandatory at the end of this year. There could have been a situation where you box Tyson Fury in the summer, but we don't really know what Tyson's doing at the moment. Um, so from your end, what have you heard from Queensbury about Tyson? Because he did state, if it's not Usyk, it's going to be Joe Joyce. He said this at Tottenham when he boxed Derek Chisora. So what have you heard from Queensbury about a potential fight with your guy and Fury? I've been talking to Queensbury about this for months and I've made it clear that Joe wants one of AJ, Wilder, Fury. We know Usyk, when, when the Usyk Fury broke up, we know Usyk's got his mandatories to deal with. I don't think Fury has a mandatory for his WBC possibly until the end of the year, I think 18 months from when he boxed Dillian. So, um, what do I think? I th what have I heard? AJ, uh, I, I reached out to Matchroom about that. I think Queensby reached out to Matchroom about that. We've not heard much back. We've seen he's fighting in December, so that's not going to happen in the summer. Um, Wilder, very interesting fight, something we'd love to talk to Wilder about more, but Fury's the one we really want. Fury said, as you said, in the ring against uh, Jarek Chisora. Come on, Joe Joyce, I'll take you next. Usyk's out of the picture now. There is no reason whatsoever for that fight not to happen. Frank really wants it. George really wants it. We want it. And I think unlike a lot of other very top-level boxers, Anthony Joshua's of this, and Usyk's of this world, as Joe's manager and for Joe, we would be reasonable in that negotiation. We're not going to come and beg, but we're not going to be setting terms because we realise we're the B-side. We're coming to this. Joe wants the opportunity to fight someone like Tyson Fury. Joe wants the biggest fights in the world. So we'd be super reasonable in that negotiation. I know between me, George, Frank and Tyson, we get that deal done. So it's really up to Tyson. It's up to Tyson after this fight to think, well, the AJ fight didn't happen. The Usyk fight didn't happen. Why did those fights not happen? Was it Tyson's fault? I don't think it was Tyson's fault. I don't think either of those was Tyson's fault. I think there were negotiations with a man who is an experienced businessman who could wanted the deals to go his way and, and, and he's totally entitled to do that as the A-side. But if it doesn't happen for a third time with people who have been exceptionally reasonable, I don't think that's the right message for a guy like Tyson Fury and his legacy. You know, his legacy is he would have fought the best. He wants to fight the best. That's what he's in business for. I see no reason at all why this fight wouldn't happen. He's got nothing planned for the end of August. Neither is Joe Joyce. They've got to fight each other. It's 100,000 people at Wembley, isn't it? 100,000 people at Wembley. It's a brilliant fight. It'll probably go late. It's not a fight where someone's going to get sparked out early, in my opinion. It's a brilliant fight for the fans. I see no reason why it wouldn't be made. Is it a better fight than Fury Usyk? I think it's a much better fight than Fury Usyk. 
it's all action. I mean, Fury Usyk, I think both boxers are going to be on the outside for a lot of that fight. Very technical chess match. Maybe for boxing purists, it's a better fight. But for, for the casuals, this is a tremendous fight. And would you say for both men, it's their toughest fight? Oh, well, absolutely the toughest fight for Joe Joyce. Uh, for Tyson, um, yeah, I think it's a very tough fight for Tyson. I think Tyson's fully aware of that. I think Usyk's a tremendously tough fight for anyone in the division. I think Joe Joyce a much harder fight for Tyson than AJ. I think Tyson even said that himself when he was looking at Joe's performance because he was up close and personal last time. He was in Team Parker and he saw Joe last time and he realises it's one of the toughest fights, if not the toughest fight in the division for Tyson. Well, if all goes well for Joe, do you reckon he'll get on that BT mic in the ring on Saturday and scream Fury's name? You know, it's, it's the thing for Joe. He's an authentic guy. He's not a screamer. He's not a shouter. But I think as you see, and he develops, his personality develops during fight week, there are certain things he is genuinely annoyed about. And one of the things might be that he hasn't had that massive fight. Dubois fighting Usyk before he is. He's not happy about that. And I understand why. But it's the way that the rotation system happens. But he wants that big fight. And after a big knockout on Saturday night, yeah, you may see him call for it. You may well. Before we go, you mentioned that Joshua won't box uh, till December. Before his fight with Franklin, um, the pre-fight talk from Eddie Hearn and, and Anthony Joshua was three fights this year as a minimum. Uh, the one with Franklin, one in the summer, one in December. Joshua actually spoke to our channel and called Joyce's name. You know, he said, I'm not really interested in Dillian White. The one that interests me most is Joe Joyce. Uh, for a potential showdown in the summer. So what do you make of a statement of him saying, you know, I'm not going to box till December? Look, I think Anthony Joshua does want to fight Joe Joyce. I believe Anthony Joshua is the true throwback fighter that he says he is. He wants to fight everybody. I think his management, uh, his promoters may have seen that and thought, mm, probably not just yet, maybe a couple more fights, maybe you need to do various things. But then I find the decision, if it is a decision not to box in December, slightly curious if you think he wants to get more work in in the meantime. So I do find it slightly strange. Perhaps he's got a big date lined up in Saudi. Perhaps he's got a huge check that he's going to get there. He is a businessman. Perhaps it's a brilliant economic move. I mean, he's got Matchroom advising him. They know exactly what they're doing. Do you think what you're saying there is that Joyce is too much of a risk for Joshua in the summer? Is that what you're saying? If he's got a big fight lined up in December, for sure, I think Joyce is the favourite for that AJ fight now. And that's not just me saying that. I think the bookies have confirmed that. So why would you take a fight against someone who's more likely than not to beat you if you have a 50 million dollar payday lined up in Saudi probably not going to do it okay Adam Morley thank you very much for your time best of luck to team Joyce this Saturday tune in to BT Sport because this is going to be a brilliant fight between uh, Big Bang and the Juggernaut cheers cheers Emma. refuse to not be first do we do enough well I never shot up Harry uh, must have been about 17 16 17 win it their guilt wins Right, the bouncer's killed him. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 